I've shown you a lot of different battery generators and solar power stations. Now they were all really good, but they could also come with a high price tag. And I got many comments from you asking for a cheaper alternative. So I went ahead and purchased the least expensive 1000 watt battery generator on all of Amazon. And in this video, I'm going to show you the surprising results I got when I put it through my tests. The numbers on this unit are good. It costs just over $700 for 1000 watts of output and just over 1000 watt hours of runtime. But what's most impressive is they say it can run 3000 watts for up to 15 minutes in a surge capacity. That's a big deal for running things like compressors and heavy duty power tools. This has a surprisingly good build quality. That entire case is actually made out of aluminum and steel. The sides are rubber, which is great in case you bump it into something, and only the ends are actually made of plastic. Another unique feature is that it actually uses fuses and they include a row of spares on the top. So if you ever cause a short circuit, you can actually replace these easily yourself. You can get to all of the ports on the front of the machine and this makes it pretty convenient and they've also included these rubber membranes that are great if you're going to have this thing outside. But if you don't like these you can actually tear them right off and this works great if you're going to use it mostly indoors. And in addition to the two AC outlets you get a number of DCs that include four USBs along with a charging jack and two 12 volt outputs. Another interesting surprise is the charging adapter. This thing is also made completely of aluminum and it's even got an internal cooling fan. So once you plug it in the front to charge it, it'll give you some basic information on that display. You can also charge it via solar power and their solar panel is very unique. This thing folds down to just over a one foot by one foot, but as you can see it opens up into a very large panel that's actually 100 watts. And the cables for the panel are right inside the velcro pouch that's actually attached to it. Now I would have liked to maybe seen some legs on the back of this panel, but it does have those eyelets, so you could either lay it flat or hang it on a surface. With the panel connected, you'll get some basic information on the display. It's going to tell you that the unit is charging and where the state of the battery is along with input voltage. Now they don't include things like estimated runtime or those type of details, but for this price point, I found this information very acceptable. For my first test, I was going to start out small and it doesn't get much tinier than this. This is a 250 watt heater that I connected to the unit's AC outlet. I didn't have any issues whatsoever. I turned it on, the heater worked and everything was just fine. Now I wanted to do a real test, so I grabbed my air conditioner and a 1500 watt electric heater and I'm going to try them out in the field. Now this electric heater looks small, but it actually has the capabilities to draw up to 1500 watts in its maximum setting. But for the first test, I'm just putting it in fan mode and that's only going to draw about 18 watts, so of course it worked just fine. Now I went to the middle position, this is about 800 watts and it also ran just fine without any issues whatsoever. Now with the third setting on, we're drawing 1500 watts and this thing didn't miss a beat. And you've got to remember, it's only rated for a thousand running watts. I ran it for over five minutes and it didn't have any issues whatsoever and I just got sick of waiting so I decided to move on to an even bigger test. It's a full size air conditioner, it's about 8000 BTUs and it's running wattage is about 900 watts. But the key here is it uses a compressor which can wipe out units all the time. But that noise you heard is actually the compressor starting. This thing was really impressive. They said it had a 3000 watt surge capacity and it had no problems at all running the air conditioner. And that's the big problem because many units cannot handle that startup draw. So you'll have no issues at all running either an AC or a refrigerator with this unit. To make sure that wasn't a fluke, I decided to do the test a second and even a third time. So I went back to my driveway and I plugged in my watt meter and I just decided to run the air conditioner since it usually is the one that most things have trouble with. Now again the results were the same, the compressor fired up and this thing really didn't know the difference whether or not it was plugged into an outlet or this type of battery generator. And for my final test, I wanted to verify some runtime, so I went ahead and let the air conditioner run, and I decided to time it. And this thing just ran and ran without an issue. And I only ran it for about a half an hour because I didn't actually recharge the unit during all this testing, which seemed to be more of a real world scenario. But the bottom line is this unit just kept working and working, and I had no problems at all. 
the bottom line is this was the cheapest thousand watt device that you can get today and it really delivered. I was amazed that I could run the air conditioner and it never missed a beat. So if you're looking for a great value price unit, this is definitely a choice you want to look at. So hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.